In this video, we're going to troubleshoot and repair a trackpad mouse not working on your Sony VAIO laptop. This particular model is a VAIO C, but again, it'll work with any Sony laptop that you may have. Now, the first one is obvious, and it's it's basically to restart your, your Sony. And you may have already done that, but if you haven't, restart the Sony VAIO, unplug it, plug it back in, restart it, and see if that will work. Now, you may have accidentally tripped up on your keyboard the mouse, so let's go ahead and troubleshoot fixing that. Now, on most Sony VAIOs, it's going to be the Function 1, but some may be the, the F5, So, but most will be the F1. So on the very bottom left of your, of your Sony keyboard, it should have the Function button, which is FN. The placement may, may be different depending on the keyboard. But what I want you to do is on all these function buttons up here, I want you to look for a little logo that looks like a trackpad like this, where you got the trackpad and then your left and right click button. It should be a logo on one of them. Most of the Sony's, like I said, will be on the F1, but some may be on the F5, some may be on the F10, but look for it. And once you find it, I want you to hold down the function key and then tap that button with the trackpad logo and then tell me if it deactivated. If you hit it twice, then you may have uh, enabled it, then unabled it. So you do, try to do it just once, and then try again. And then tell me if that works. If for whatever reason you don't have a function key with, an, uh, with the trackpad logo, literally hold down your function and hit each one, and then, and then try your mouse trackpad to see if that'll work. You might have to go through every single one, and it'll be under one of those. Now, on some of the VAIOs, on the very upper left of the trackpad, there'll be an activation button. Sometimes they light up, sometimes they don't. But if you hit it twice, once, twice, a lot of times that will activate the uh, mouse. So try that. Just hit the upper left of your trackpad twice, and then see if that will activate the mouse on your VAIO. So next thing I want you to do is... While you're in Windows, on the very left here, where you can type in something, you want to try to hover into to where you could type in touchpad. Now, I know you don't have a mouse, but a lot of times if you just tab, hit the tab button with nothing open, just hit tab, it'll come down here to where you can type. So type in touchpad. That'll take you here where you go to mouse settings in Windows, and then, and then enter mouse settings. And then from there, what I want you to do is see if the touchpad is on or off. If it's off, I want you to enter and make it touchpad on. And then I want you to restart your Sony. Okay, after you try that, if that didn't work, I want you to do a run command while you're in Windows. And if you've never done that before, you just hold down the Windows key and then hit R as you're holding down the Windows key. And then under run, I want you to type in control. C-O-N-T-R-O-L. That's going to take you into the control panel. It's going to take you into a place like this. And then in order to get to hardware and sound, you're going to have to tab. Or you might have to use your arrow key to go down to where it says hardware and sound. Hit enter. And then I want you to see where it'll say mouse properties. Uh, use your arrow key to go to mouse properties. And then click on additional mouse options. And then see if the touchpad if the touchpad's enabled or enabled. Of course, you want to enable, so hit Enter to enable it. Restart your laptop, and then see if that will work. Now, if that doesn't work in Windows. Go back to your Run screen by hitting the Microsoft key and the R, and you're going to go to Device Manager. And to do that, you're going to type in devmgmt.msc. That basically takes you to all the drivers in your Sony. And what you're going to do, it's going to take you to this screen here. And you might have to either use the tab key, T-A-B, or the arrow up and down to get down to mice, to your mouse driver. And then you hit enter. And it's going to, it should have a little uh, device here where it'll say trackpad or pointing device. And what you're going to do is you're going to right click. Well, you don't have a mouse. So in order to right click in Windows, you hover over it and you hold down the shift key and the F10. And that will get you into properties. You just use your arrow key to go down to properties, hit enter, 
and then if it gives you an up an option to update the driver hit enter to update the driver now you will have to uh, be connected to the internet to Wi-Fi or the Ethernet and then it may take t 10 minutes if for whatever reason there's like a little yellow icon next to the mouse you know it's it's enabled for whatever reason hover hover over it and then enable it and then restart your laptop and see if that will fix the problem now if you've if you've tried all that next I want you to go into BIOS and so for BIOS for most Sony's it's F2 uh, let's see here most of its F2 yeah so what you're going to do is turn the Sony completely off restart and when you see the Sony logo hit the F2 key multiple times that's going to take you into BIOS and then in BIOS see if your mouse works in BIOS if it does that's good news that means it's not a hardware issue it's a Microsoft Windows issue and so then what I want you to do is go into uh, in your BIOS I want you to go into advanced headings if possible and it may be advanced it may be a place where it'll say internal pointing devices touchpad or trackpad so in BIOS I want you to hover over that and enter and see if it's if it's not activated if it if it's not enabled you want to re-enable it and then after you re-enable it usually to save in BIOS you would hit F10 save it and then see if your mouse works and hopefully that'll fix your problem if not worst case scenario which really isn't a worst case get you an optical mouse a USB mouse that you have that you use for a desktop and it could be wireless or unwireless and connect it to your USB and temporarily if not permanently use an optical mouse as your mouse as a matter of fact I prefer this over a trackpad and the good news is, is you don't need a driver you don't need to install anything it usually recognizes the mouse automatically and then you can just start using your mouse if that is your you know worst case scenario which I like doing now if you want to replace the trackpad if it is a hardware issue it didn't read in your BIOS you can replace them you just basically have to remove your your um, palm rest and you can see YouTube videos where it'll show you how to do that and then look under here and then look for a model number on your trackpad and purchase one on eBay it's usually like 10 bucks and replace it. it does take a little bit of technical ability but I mean honestly if you're if your Sony's older just use a just use an optical mouse alright make sure you put in the comment section which option worked for you so other people know which one worked for you make sure you put a lengthy comment in the comment section like the video subscribe and um, let me know. All right. I appreciate you watching. Talk to you on the next one.